Hi there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be working on our little butterfly envelope stack. Um, so at the moment we're, we're in decorating mode so that's what I'm going to continue to do today. I don't know if I'll get it all done. Oh, it's got a little bit stuck here. It's one of these little... I had to stick down my... Oh, what's got caught? Cool. Something's got caught. Cool. Oh, it's just a bit of the frayed edge here. Um, I had to stick down the top of this butterfly because where I'd put it in a little um, container thingy, um, it had got caught and this, this I think this side had bent back so I thought well I better stick it down because that's going to happen a lot if I don't make sure it's held flat because I'd only glued it down um, in the middle before. Um, and I'm trialling a new, a new bottle for my art glitter glue and I, it's this little bottle here with a very, um, it's got a very point, long pointy tip, I'll just show you, like that, and then the, the lid has got this to, to try to keep it clear, as, you, as long as you put it in properly, um, should keep the glue flowing, so I'm kind of trying out, only because I found, I found, <coughs> found it in my drawer, it was a pack of two, they're called fine line applicators, and I'd had them, I bought them ages and ages ago, I mean years ago I think. Used one of them, um, didn't get on too well with it, I think the glue was different. And then stick it, stuck it in my drawer and I thought well I might give that a try as I'm having problems with um, using the little tip for the art glitter glue bottle. I might try using this, so we'll see. Anyway, um, so last time we got to here on our decorating. So... We need to just continue, so I want to do something here. I thought I'm going to try and use one of my little wax seals, perhaps, on this page. They're almost exactly the same colour, aren't they? I don't know if they're going to show up enough. Or maybe the blue one, because I've got the blue flowers. Maybe that would work. Let's try that. Um, and I might just see what I can put behind it. I've got some bits of fabric here, but I don't know if they'll work. They're mostly pink, and now I'm using the blue uh, wax seal. I'm not sure they're going to go anyway. So that would look quite nice on this page, wouldn't it? Because it's got all the colours, except the blue isn't the right blue. Um, I've got some very pale... What did I do on the front? I'm just trying to remind myself what I did in the way of a cluster on the front. Did I do a little collection of these? What did I do with them? Um, I think I might have put them in my little cluster box. So let's have a look. See if I can pull something out. But something I can actually add the um, wax seal to. Ooh, something like that, perhaps. Is that going to be too big now? On there. What if I have it on the corner or just there? It's not too bad. I suppose it looks better if it's poking out there, so and then it's visible. Um, it's a little. I think the cluster's a little small. This one may be better. How about that one? So you can't see really. I have this one as well. Oh, I have one already with a wax, couple of wax seals on them. Okay, I'm trying to remember what I did. That's a while ago since I made these. So that actually looks okay. And then, oh, well, I have, I have choices. That's never a good thing. Never a good thing to give me choices. No, not those, not the ones that have got the wrong colour on. I'm just... I think I quite fancy putting some blue on here just because there's a lot of blue on the page. So maybe this one. Something like that. Oh, I could still quite like this bigger one. Oh, that's floating around. Somehow did that not get attached? Okay, well, <laughs> that one I think is possible. Let's put these back in, in the box. 
Um, I'll keep this handy just in case. I don't know if I'll use it, but you never know. Oh, oh excuse me. Uh, put that bit of fabric away. So we're up and running. I've, I think I've chosen, I want to go there, but I've, I want to see what else needs to go on this page. I really need to, need to use some of these, they're so pretty. Because I want to make some more, so I can't make some more until I've used the ones I've got, can I? Oh, right. <laughs> okay, let's put them away. Bring them out another day. Or later today. Right. So I'm going to try that one there. So if that closes like that and that closes like that, I would like it to just poke out there. And then it's not blocking anything, is it? But I'd also like some lace to go down this edge. So I'm going to have a look in that box of goodies I got from a craft club, which I've just shoved all in this box here just to keep them together for now. Um, because I haven't got around to deciding what I want to do with them or where, how I want to store them. Uh, so I want one of these slightly wider pieces because I quite like it to wrap around. I've got this piece, which is really wide, maybe too wide. Um, none of these are as wide as I'm looking for. There is this bit of blue, really pretty blue Brogiongle, but that's, I think that's overdoing the blue now. I think that's too much. So I've got this, which has got uh, quite discoloured some of this, and not necessarily in a good way. So I might just pop that to one side and have a look at this piece, because I do love this. But it is pretty wide, I'm going to have to trim it down a bit, I think. But I quite like it. I could pop that like that. Now if I were to wrap it around. Oh, that's going to be... It can't wrap around the whole thing because it's got to... can only wrap around here, otherwise it's going to block it, isn't it? Stop it folding out. So that's, that's good to know. All right. Oops. Okay, let's cut a piece off. Uh, right. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Oh! So I better do it only the length of this piece. I'm wondering, still wondering if it's a bit too big. I'll look in my other box. I'm sorry about this. I'm just going to have a quick look in my other Laces. This is the rest of my cream coloured laces. I think cream is the colour I'm mostly going for on this one. And there may be something that actually works a little better as a wrap around. Or maybe just to poke out if it's not quite big enough to wrap around. I've got. Right, let's just take this piece out just because it's. Coming apart, I've got these, and I've got that one. Okay. Right, uh, the one I was thinking about, this one seems to be just wanting to be all over the place. I don't know what happened to the pin I had for it. Right, I'm going to stay in place. Just try this for the moment because I like this one too. Because if I'm not wrapping it around, I could put it the whole length, couldn't I? If I'm just having it as a little bit of decoration on the edge of this one, I won't need to worry about wrapping it, and therefore it can go the whole length. How about that? How about that? A bit dead. What do I think? 
quite like it. I think it's drawn way up. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. It's just more about how it would look. And then if I had the cluster here. Yeah, I think I like that. Put this now. Is it the right way up or not? No, I think actually it is the right way up after all. Thought it wasn't, but it is. So if I put that there, and my little cluster at the top, okay. Right, let's do it. Let's get that on. at the other side but it doesn't impede the wrapping or the opening of the envelope of, yeah of the envelope well that might just catch a little bit but it's okay I'm gonna obviously put probably put something along here as well all right let's let's put on our cluster Sure, I'm happy with that one there. I think I am. Let's put this one in the middle. see the little butterfly imprint on there so it's all all on theme and I'll just check that it's yep it's not blocking the the envelopes so we're just going to glue this one on as well something going along down here I'm not sure just trying something here Something like that going along there, and I need to 
I should that up a bit, don't I? Uh, where's my other box of butterfly bits? Just to put it away. Ugh. Don't think there was much in it anyway. Got these still. These little die cut ones. A few stamped ones as, as well. Oh, I've got these little ones that are glittered. How many of those did I make? I did make a couple. They're quite sweet. I don't know how well they show up though. Show up enough. Mm. There. through my little bits that I made, so that's good. I don't know about this one, but um, I quite like those on there. It just decorates it up a little bit. So where are we going with this? Where's my habitat gone? Oh, it's right in front of me, of course. Oh, and it's leaking everywhere, yuck. Just going to double check whether it needs two or three butterflies going down here. So, is three a little bit of overkill? That's what I'm wondering. Like that. We're going heavy butterflies at the moment, aren't we? Maybe flowers would be a good plan for a change. Right, I'm wondering about these yellow and blue ones to start with. Oh, I might go for a mixture, I just don't know. So many choices. Let's just pull those out for a moment. That doesn't mean I've abandoned the, the butterfly idea. I'm just going to see if this would work as an alternative. So maybe a big, big blue one in the middle. Of yellow ones either side, Where'd they go. It's got something weird in the middle. 
middle. Quite sure what happened there. So there's the yellow. Don't know. Or would I prefer the pink? There's a nice bit of pink there. There's a bit of pink in this one as well. Too much blue. There's that one. No, I do like. I think I like that. They're all the same shape. They're just different colours. So they've, we've got the pink, we've got the yellow, and we've got the blue. And, that, and as these pages got all the colours in, maybe that's the way I should be doing it on this one. I quite like that. I'm just wondering if that's the right one in the middle. Oh, that's too big. I need something a bit bigger, doesn't it? don't think I've got another one. I don't think I've got another blue one. Oh yes, I might have. Is that the right blue? No. washy around the outside isn't it this does bring out more of the blue hmm I think I think I might do that yep I'm gonna do that okay I've got the opening here haven't we yep I'm going to give the art glitter glue a... Oh no, I don't think I will. <laughs> I think I'll stick with the fabric tap because it's on lace. I know I haven't got leaves on the bottom one, but I don't, I don't... I'm not worried about that. I'm just using what I've got. This one came with leaves. That one doesn't. This one has, but they're different. Should I put a leaf on this one? Maybe I should. It seems to be better if I leave it actually upside down rather than on its side. It doesn't seem to, well, famous was last words, but it doesn't seem to cascade as much if it's upside down. Alright, um, let's see if I've got a little leaves, leaf or two I can add to that one. Nice, I have a gazillion. This one or this one? Nope, the darker one, I think.
Let's hope that's going to work. Because I kept stuck with the art glitter glue on this occasion, so I'm hoping that'll stick to the lace. Drying, we'll look at this page. So I don't know if I really want to put an awful lot on here, if anything, because there's a lot, such a lot going on here. This could be a little bit sim, a little bit simpler. Yeah, maybe just a label here. Let's see what we've got. No, no, not those. I'm going to put some of these words, I can't remember who they're by. Could be Pink Monarch Prince, but I couldn't swear to that. Good to explore. Look at some of these shabby dabby doo -dah definitions. Is that too dark? They explore and then this one is nature or well, they sort of go together don't they and mm, just might just have a little tiny bit of doily I think I don't know if this will quite work but No, I'm not quite sure how that looks quite right. I've got a bit of green.
think I need to add just a little bit of lace on the top of that just to soften that edge. Oh, it's quite, quite fine lace here. nearly used all of this up. One of the first things I bought from charity shops, just just an old top, but it had such pretty lace on it and I've used it a lot because it's so it's such a fine layer, it's just perfect for layering. So if I was to put that there. I don't know if it matters which way round this is. Try it the other way. Yeah, it looks better that way. Where's my label gone? There it is. I'll just pop that on there. Okay, I think I'm a bit happier with that combination. And then these are on sticker paper. And I'm going to add a little extra glue on there, I think. I feel like putting a teeny tiny butterfly on there still. Not that one that I was trying out, but maybe a small, a really small one. I've lost my top. Hmm. This one a bit smaller. Same one, smaller. that little corner there I think. Okay, I think we'll call that one done. Hope that's okay. Alright, so let's tuck that in. It's getting very highly decorated now, isn't it? Now I'll leave that dangling, I think. 
Right, now I've got a decision to make on this pocket because I'm not sure about having things slipped in the side. I think I might be better off cutting it across the top. In which case, this needs something to seal it, probably. And I'm wondering what's the best thing to use, whether a little slip of fabric down there would work. I don't know if I've got anything that's just, just the right colour, that's the thing. Um, think, think, think. So I just wonder if a little piece of this, with maybe a bit of lace on it, just to seal that pocket up, and then we can cut across and use that. But I think that colour's not right. This colour would be better. Well, that would go nice, wouldn't it? I just need a big piece. <coughs> I've got lots of this, so just seeing if I've got any long enough in this bag. No. Okay, let's see what I've got. A nice big piece of this. Still, I think it started life as a curtain, I think, or something. Again, this is something I bought from a charity shop quite a long time ago, and it has had multiple uses. It uh, doesn't need to be very wide, it just needs to be long enough. Let's see if I can get it to tear. No, it doesn't want to tear, so I'm going to. I'm going to cut it, hopefully more or less straight. I don't really need to do the whole length, do I? Let's just see if that's right size. It's a bit wide. Ended up wider at one end than at the other so I'm just going to try and straighten it up now. If I over <laughs> I'm probably going to too thin now, too narrow now. I will see. I just want it to seal that pocket. I don't want it to... Oh gosh, that's not very straight, is it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe if I put the straighter edge along there, and then if I put a bit of lace there, nobody will notice it's not very straight. Okay, let's try that. I haven't done it like this before. Because we didn't put any paper over that end and I was trying to keep it open, but actually I think getting something in and out of there as the other pockets get, the other envelopes get fatter, it's going to be harder to do and I think I'd be better off having it as a long narrow, having a long narrow journal card or tag in there instead. <clears throat> I'm just going to straighten this up a little bit more, or try to. Really wandered off course there. this hint as well. <clears throat> oh, so I have some news. <laughs> um, <coughs> at the end, well, I'm filming out of sequence at the moment, so I'm trying to film ahead. So I have already filmed next Monday's Music, music Journal Monday. <laughs> Um, and I haven't yet done Roxy's Weekly Challenge Week eight, uh, week, week 10. 
even though that is going to appear before this one. And I'm just filming things in the order that they seem to make sense for me. To film them, not necessarily to schedule them. Anyway, in Monday's video, towards the end, you will, I will just mention that I've got the family. I did have the family coming over um, for the evening. It was, <coughs> it was filming on the Friday um, for the following Monday. Well, next Monday, as it turns out. And, um, yeah, they were, they were coming over to really have a trial run for Alyssa staying with us. She's going to be staying with us um, the last weekend in March. I think when I mentioned it, it was going to be... I got my weekends a bit mixed up. <clears throat> but she's coming to us the last weekend in March. So her mum and dad can have a weekend away. But she's never stayed here, so she was coming over with her mum and dad... To, to stay and try out the bed and things. In the end, um, her dad wasn't able to make it because he wasn't very well. So it was just her, with her, came with her mum. And then I sort of said, well, Hannah and George were coming as well. Um, and my, I mean, I didn't know why, why they decided they wanted to join us. I mean, Hannah said to me, can we come too? And I said, yeah, of course you can. I'm always happy to see any of them at any time. Um, but I did wonder why she particularly seemed to want to come on that day because she'd already invited us to theirs and then it, you know, it didn't quite work out because Jenny wanted to come on that Friday. So I did wonder if there was any ulterior motive for her coming on that particular day while everybody was there. Um, but, you know, it could have been just that she wanted to not be left out. But as it turned out, there was an ulterior motive for them coming on that particular day. They wanted to tell us something. And... Yep, it's uh, it's happened. She's having a baby. We're so excited and thrilled for them. Um, yeah, she's having a baby, and um, she's you know through her first trimester, which is really good to know. So she's been having to sit on her news for the last two months, which has been has been killing her. She's my daughter, my youngest daughter, is absolutely terrible at keeping secrets usually. So how she kept it from us, I do not know. I think she was. I think it was killing her, trying to, not being able to tell us for 12 weeks. But she's safely through that first difficult period and I'm really thrilled for her. Cause she, it was something I knew that they were both um, very keen uh, to happen. I love that. Love that lace, so that's going on there too. Yeah, so we're going to be grandparents again. So excited for them. So excited for us, because we, you know, we're we're as keen for them to start a family as they are. I think. <laughs> okay, that's going on there. Now, just which lace, which glue? I think I'm gonna try the art glitter glue just because. You know, when it, this is quite thick and it does kind of seep through a little bit. So where do I want it? I want it along the edge here. So I don't want to completely cover up my stamped butterflies because I really like those, but they can just tuck under the lace a little bit. Right, so yeah, so that's our little bit of exciting news for the week. I think this, um, <clears throat> the day I'm filming, I'm filming on the Sunday afterwards, after they came on Friday, and they are down at George's parents this week, uh, today, to tell them the lovely news too. I'm sure they'll be just as delighted as we are. I keep saying we're going to have the, <clears throat> they must come and visit us here, so perhaps we'll have the, the four of them over, his parents and and the two of them have a little celebration next time they come up, so that would be really lovely. It's just hard to get my head around this. This is my baby. She's she's always been my baby. Um, but she's now going to be a mum. 
it's quite a lot to get in, get your head round really. But she is going to be fabulous. I'm just seeing, you know, see both of them with Alyssa. They are such, you know, they're, they're so good with her. She adores them, to, both of them, to bits. She may be quite jealous. <laughs> she's had them exclusively to herself for the last nearly five years. And now she's going to have to share them. And I'm not sure she's going to like it much. Right, so that's that one. I like that. I'm just going to leave it like that. I think that's just fine. Oh, now I need to remember to cut across the top there now. Make sure I've got the pocket accessible. I think I need to cut it from the other side actually. Yep, that's a bit easier. Okay, let's check I've got it all Accessible. Yep, accessible right along. Lovely. Happy with that. And there's our little foldy out piece that I haven't quite decided if I'm going to do something pockety with that. Might put a little pocket here or something. So now we're down to these last couple of spots. So I've got some lace there, so I'm just going to do this, I think I'm going to fold it out to work on it. Okay, so, so have a think about this one. Thinking maybe, hmm. Maybe a bit of snippet roll. Let's get my cluster box out again. I think I had a bit of a snippet roll in here, I'm not sure. I don't know what I've got in here. Is that too white? Just a bit too white. I've <clears throat> prepared specially really, shouldn't I? I could use one of the green ones this time. These. Right, let's try one of these because they, this one definitely could take a green one. That would be good. All right, let's just see how it looks folded up. Whoop. What's going on here? Okay. <clears throat> so we've got. I'm going to cover up just a bit. Or put it at the top like the other one. And then it would just nestle there, wouldn't it? That one. Or this one. I think I prefer the other one again, the bigger one. Like that. That would work quite nicely, wouldn't it? Just leave room for something to poke out the top here. Alright, so that can go. Just open this out again because it's a little bit, make it a bit flatter to work on. Alright, so we've got our cluster at the top again. They seem to work better at the top. Although I'm I am now thinking this one might go on here. Yeah, that may well go on there. And what about the rest? I would like a bit of oh hang on. I had a thought, where's my little, where's my bag of lace gone, there it is, 
<clears throat> I'm wondering about a piece of this on here. Be wanting to use this. And then one of the big butterflies, although the colour's not right, is it? Oh, I've got a green one. Hmm. Or yeah, I thought I'd try under the um under the cluster and I really like that rather than having having it down here I think just having it as part of the cluster and poking up at the top would look good I like that and then that will close and then that will all show behind there so I'm going to put that on there and then see what we do elsewhere we don't need much else because it's quite a quite busy there isn't it So that's going to go and have some. Just move another fraction. I just want to make sure there's clearance above that envelope entrance so that any um, cut, any tag or anything that's in there has a little bit of room to pop out the top. So I think that should be okay. Um, I won't put anything on, the, I won't glue that last bit just yet. I might. Got a little something I might just tuck under there. I just might tuck this little butterfly under there a little. Not too far, otherwise you won't be able to read it. I'll just put that under there. Okay, we'll just do that. Little bottle seems to be working quite well so far. Oop. There. About there. Okay. Okay, then I'm just going to glue, put a little bit of extra glue under here now. Under there. A little bit under here. I don't know if there's anything more needed. I did wonder about, and I'll just see how how I like it. Having this down here, just that you end up with this one at the top, one at the bottom. Not sure I like that. I might be better off not to have anything else. Maybe just a piece of lace across the bottom. Yeah, maybe that's the way to go. And I love that. And what was that other piece I used? Could I do the double whammy on the lace? Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Double layer the lace. Right, 
so I'm just going to have that hanging off the bottom. I'm going to tuck that underneath, just because it didn't feel like there was enough lace. <laughs> Although then you lose, no maybe that's not the right one to use. Really I need one that's single sided don't I? What have, we, what have we got? What have we got? a piece of this. I haven't used this for a while. It was a favourite for a while, um, a while back and I haven't used it very much. Okay, let's just move all this lot out of the way. We'll use this again. Then we've got that. And I should just take off that bottom edge just so it takes away the lumpiness. Right, so I'm liking that, and I'm just wondering about just a little tiny butterfly in the middle. I think that might work quite nicely. That one, I've only got two of the really small ones left now. Or that one. Or a slightly bigger one. One of these. Yeah, maybe that's the way to go. A little green sparkly one, right in the middle. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be nice. So I managed to get one more butterfly on here. So that's that's it for today. So all oh, what have we managed to do today? So we've done this one. We'd already done that, that's right. So we've done this page, this side of the envelope, a little bit on here, finish this off, and then we've done this one. That page there. So I've just got to do these last couple of envelopes here. And then we can start filling the pockets. So thank you very much for joining me today. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.